Hi guys, welcome to Short Skirts and Sarcasm. I'm Caroline and today I'm going to go through this scratch off poster and see how many of these books I've read. This was a present from my friend um, for my birthday and so I thought instead of just like going through these and scratching them off by myself, I would turn it into a video. So this is 100 books bucket list and they're mostly all classics it seems like. Every one of these books is a wonderfully written masterpiece. Please take your time and enjoy every minute of these incredible stories. Let's get started. So the first one on this is American Gods by Neil Gaiman and I haven't read that. The second one is Lord of the Flies by William Golding and I have read that. It's gonna make a mess. Next, Siddhartha by Hermann uh, Hesse, and I've read that as well. Next, Sophie's World by Justine Gardner, and I haven't read that. A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking, haven't read that. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, I have read that. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I read that. Matilda by Roald Dahl. I have not read that. The Complete Art of War by Sun Tzu. I have read that. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. And I haven't read that. Long Walk to Freedom by Nelson Mandela. I have not read that. Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Haven't read that. The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Oliver Sacks. Haven't read that. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Haven't read that. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have read that. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, yes. The Secret History by Donna Tartt, yes. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Yes, I have read that. Nineteen eighty four by George Orwell. Nope. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Nope. Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. Yes. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Kent Kessie. Nope. The Man in the Iron Mask by Alexander Zuma. Nope. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Yes. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. No. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Yes. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, no. Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, yes. His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman, also yes.
The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Yes. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, no. The Road by Cormac McCarthy, also no. Ulysses by James Joyce, also no. Bad Science by Ben Goldacre, also no. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, yes. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. Nope. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Yes. I always think that Victor Hugo needs to learn how to stay on topic. Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, yes. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, nope. Wild Swans, Zhong Cheng, also no. A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, also no. Tinker Taylor, Taylor, Soldier Spy by John Le Carre, also no. Crime and Punishment by uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky, also no. The Poisonwood, Biber, by <laughs> the Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver, yes. I was used to think that it was King's Lover, but it's actually Kingsolver. The Adventures of a Huckleberry Finn. Yes. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. No. The World of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Also no. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, also no. Freakonomics, no. A Game of Thrones, why is that book on here? But yes, I have read it. The Help by Catherine Stockett, why is that on here? But no, I haven't read it. Flowers for Algernon, yes, I have read that. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, yes. American Psycho by Bright Easton Ellis, nope. Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson, nope. Macbeth by William Shakespeare, I've seen the play, but no, I guess I haven't actually read it. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, yes. The History of Venice by John Julius Norwich. No, The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins. Why is he on here? Ugh. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Yes. Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami. 
they're uh, repeating authors. Interesting choice, but I haven't read that. Schindler's Art by Thomas Keneally. Also, no, London Fields by Martin, is it Ami or Amos? No. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Also, no. My Man Jeeves by Pidgey Woodhouse. Yes. The English Patient. No. No on the Floss. Also, no. The Cant Count of Monte Cristo. So I read like half of this and I did not enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe I should give it another try. But uh, I used to take, um, I used to take road trips with my mom and we would listen to audiobooks in the car. So she put this on and I didn't like it. And also I was like <laughs> nine or 10. And then it got to the part where there's this like horrific execution scene where the uh, person in question gets his like throat slit and then the executioner stands on his stomach and like sort of moves around so that like more blood comes out of his slit throat and he's still, like still not dead and after that I was like I'm done this is it I'm not I'm not doing this anymore and I like insisted that she turn it off. So maybe I'll come back to this one. I'm not going to scratch it off. I don't think that counts. Uh, Gladys Aylward, The Little Woman. No, I haven't even heard of that. Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Also, no. Touch of the Duver Wills. No. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Yes. Hamlet by William Shakespeare, another uh, double author. I feel like they could have, you know, made room for possibly less famous people. But again, this is one I've seen but haven't read. Good Night, Mr. Tom by Michelle McGorian. No, haven't heard of that. Uh, Dissolution by C.J. Sanjum. Sansum. Also haven't heard of that. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, another double author. And no, I haven't read that. Winnie the Pooh. No, Animal Farm by George Orwell. I have read that. Again, another um, repeat author. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. I have read that. The Enchanted Wood by Enid Blyton, no. Dracula by Bram Stoker, also no. All Quiet on the Western Front by Erich Maria Remarque, and I have read that. Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding, yes. Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. Also, yes. <sighs> My hand is getting tired. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Yes. Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. No. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Yes. Misery by Stephen King. No. 
Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Yes. Watership Down by Richard Adams. No. The Odyssey by Homer. Also, no. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Also, no. And another repeat author. Uh, Birdsong by Sebastian Falks. Yes. We're almost done, guys. Tell No One by Harlan Coben. Nope. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. No. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Also no. And another repeat author. Middlemarch by George Eliot. Also no. And another repeat author. And Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Yes. George Eliot is the only repeat author on here who is a woman. Interesting. So we've reached the end. I read a few. Exciting. So I read 37 out of 100. So hopefully over the time of my life maybe i can finish it so that's it for this video you can like this video you can subscribe for more videos you can also follow me on social media all my links are in the description box and i will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.